You know a film is really bad when for half the film I just kept thinking, all right, how am I going to do my intro? I've got to think of a, a funny a funny pun on Firestarter. And, you know, usually, well, usually, I, no. Always I come up with a terrible one and I end up probably not using it. But I've got nothing else to say, so let me just fire off all the terrible ones that I thought of. Uh, first off, we've got Firestarter. More like Fire Sharder. Because the film's shit. Ooh, no, it's bad. It's bad when... It's worse saying it out loud. Fire starter. More like fire stopper. Because the film stops being good when it starts. That's worse. Fire starter. More like... No, it... It's gone. I, I literally stopped filming. Got up, was like, I've got one. This is actually funny. Sat back down. Gone. I sound like the boy who cried wolf. You, you're never going to believe me. You'll never believe that I had a funny fire starter pun. Now I am the liar liar with his pants on fire. Poor, poor Stephen King. He must just get so disappointed when they're like, Oh my God, you're making a remake of my, my book, Firestarter? Uh, that's so exciting. And then he sees all the reviews and they just are all just like, nah. This film and the premise of this film has everything in the makings to be a really fun, schlocky, B-grade, action, campy, supernatural, sci-fi, you know, superhero-y kind of thing, but with a horror kind of flair and touch to it. But this film ends up just being boring, generic, just so by the numbers and nothing and just it's such a disappointing film like this film didn't like make me angry because it was so bad it just kind of disappointed me like you want a film about people with special abilities but it's a horror this film's got you covered you want a film about a little girl with fire powers this film's got you covered you want a film about a secret organization trying to control people with powers this film's got you covered you want a film that's good this film don't got you covered unfortunately because it sucks also, it's not a horror, and she doesn't use her firepowers enough, and the secret government agency is weird and confusing and bad and just, I don't know, this whole film is really weird, this film just has a really weird feeling about it, and it's not just because of all the close-ups and stuff where you're like, dude, give me an establishing shot, like, back up, bro. Cinematographer is like, I'm getting right up in his face. And then the next shot, I'm getting right up in this guy's face. Next shot, right up in the guy's face. To the point where like 30 minutes in, I'm like, I don't think I've seen an establishing shot. Not a single wide shot. Like, this is about as wide as we get in this film. Claustrophobic and nightmarish. But not in the way where I'm like, oh my god, it was so good. How they were like trapped underground. It was all claustrophobic. And they filmed it. And it made me feel claustrophobic as well. It was like I was there in the movie, in the tunnel or whatever. You know, it's not like that. It's just like, who the hell shot this? What was the decision? What was the creative process that led you to make this decision? Just show a wide shot. What the hell? To be honest, I actually quite liked the close-ups at first, but then suddenly I was just like, oh, I feel sick. Like, it's just, just back up, bro. Are you sick of every movie in the cinemas being a big, a Doctor Strange, and they've got magical powers, and they're all shooting laser beams, it's all superheroes all day. But you do like powers and abilities, but you watch more of like a horror film. And you're like, Doctor Strange, more like Doctor Lame. Well, this film could be exactly what you're looking for. In theory, in theory, it's what you're looking for. But uh, what you're going to want to do is just go and watch Doctor Sleep. Fantastic film. This film's for nobody. If you're always kind of hoping for like maybe a mix of Doctor Sleep slash kind of It, you know, that kind of vibe of, oh, there's weird supernatural stuff going on. There's little kids doing things. There's magical powers and all this kind of stuff. But no, I was hoping for kind of like Brightburn slash Carrie. And it is that, but just bad. It's like, you want to watch that kind of thing? Just watch Carrie. Just watch Brightburn. Zac Efron is in this and he's just the dad and he's just like, oh, I'm the dad. And he's just like very kind of, I don't know, low key performance. I feel like he should have been high key. He should have been crazy and manic. Like the film should have been, but the film is just so bland and so boring. It's just so like, oh, like every time Zac Efron was on, all I kept thinking was, so he's the dad. Jeez, that means he's like old now. And then suddenly I kept thinking, that means I'm old now. And then I just started, you know, stressing about that, thinking about those little grey hairs that you probably can't see, but every time I look in the mirror, I see them. This film takes itself way too seriously. The plot, the premise, the, the whole film, it's just like so deadly serious. Everything's so very serious. And it's just kind of like, why couldn't this just been fun and dumb and campy and B-grade? Like, it would have had such a better, like, feeling to it if they'd done that. There is one line about two minutes before the film ends where the little girl goes, she, she's like reading the person's mind because oh, cause she could also do mind powers. She's got like a bunch of powers. She's got her parents' powers. I guess that's a spoiler, but also spoilers, it sucks. So don't watch it. Just see something else. So yeah, I mean, I don't feel bad spoiling it because this sucks. She's just reading someone's ability and they're like, I'll take you, I'll take you to safety. I'm not a bad guy. And she goes, liar, liar, pants on fire. And then she kills her with her fire abilities, her magical fire. 
and that's awesome and funny. But also, they didn't even like, you know, they like set up the joke and then she does die of fire. But that middle bit is her pants lighting on fire and her being like, ah! and her pants are on fire. And then like her legs fall off and then, you know, it's just the top half of her body lying there as her like legs have melted off. Cause you know, liar, liar, pants on fire. Not liar, liar, now I've disintegrated into mush and you don't see anything fire. Like it's, I don't know. They even had one funny joke and they couldn't pay it off properly. This film, it's, it's, it's not good. For a, for a show about a little girl shooting fire magical powers, not enough fire. Like, I either want it to be so cheap and bad that the CGI fire is laughable and hilarious and I get to have fun for that, or I want it to feel real and powerful and dangerous and scary and crazy. And the film takes itself so seriously, it should be the latter. But there are so many points where I'm like, I can't, I don't know, the fire looks okay, but maybe it doesn't look good. Yeah, there's one point right at the end, she's walking, and she just walks past things, and instead of them exploding fully in fire and being consumed, you can just see they've, like, done a little, like, the thing's like this, and they do a little line, and it just goes, psh, 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 and you're like, oh, look, special effects happening. It didn't feel, like, chaotic and fiery and insane. There was, like, one shot where it, like, got proper fiery and gory, and that was kind of the big, the big hurrah at the end, and it's just like... I don't know, like, that's all you need to do. Have a little girl shooting fireballs and everyone exploding in fire and screaming and her making silly puns and the government being like, we've got to stop the little girl, but maybe capture the little girl and then we can train the little girl. So, should you go see this remake of Firestarter? Well, if you've been listening, you, you know my answer. No, obviously don't. Unless you want to have the cinematic experience that I had. Because I went into the cinema today and I got there and she's like, which seat would you like? And I'm like, I don't know, that one. And she's like, well, I guess it doesn't matter. There's no one in the screening. And I'm like, I know, there'll be no one in the screening. But then I looked at the screen with all the little seats and I got to pick my seat. Literally no one in the cinema. I walk in, no one in the cinema. And when I say no one, I'm not talking about the advanced screening of Morbius, where there was like maybe 12 or 15 of us. I'm not talking about the advanced screening of Death on the Nile I went to, where there was me and maybe six single mums all sitting in different seats watching. No, 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 I'm talking Literally nobody. Nobody was in the cinema. If I hadn't bought my ticket and gone to it, it would have been an empty screening of a, a movie just to, playing to nobody. Do they even play it if no one's there? It's just, I don't know. It blew my mind. I knew this film wasn't going to do well because I'd heard nothing about it. I'd heard no one talking about it. I just checked on the, like, the bloody village cinemas and I'm like, when's Top Gun Maverick coming out? Is that this week? Next week? The week after? When's that coming out? I gotta, I gotta find out. And then I'm like, Firestarter? What is that? Magic fire powers. Ooh, I'm in. Apparently I'm the only one. Cinema was empty. It was glorious. You know, like, some people might be like, oh, don't you want to see a cinema filled with people? And they're all screaming and they're like, look, it's the Spider-Man and the Spider-Man movie. And they're all cheering and walloping and going, whoop, whoop, whoo, whoo, you know, you know, the whole cinema experience. Like you're going to a football game and it's live and it's chaotic and there's the energy of people. No. You know what's better than that? Sitting in a giant 400 seat cinema, watching a movie alone and making no sounds whatsoever and then going, I guess I could get my phone out. I could start taking notes. I always wish I could take a couple of notes sometimes so I don't forget anything. But then you watch a film where you don't want to take any notes because you don't care if you forget anything because who cares about this review? Because who cares about this movie? It's stupid. It's dumb. It sucked. It's just super disappointing. I love fire magic powers, but this is not that. I guess I should just watch an episode of Avatar The Last Airbender or Korra. I like Korra. I feel like I'm defending Korra a lot now. People seem to have turned on Korra. It's a great show. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below. I'd love to know what everyone thought of Firestarter. Yes, you and you and you. All three of you that saw the movie. No one's going to watch this review. No one cares about this movie. Oh my god. Hey guys, this is my review for the new film, Firestarter.